Hey everyone, I'm AzDQ, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, where I'm a Mudkip. Last time, we started construction on our new rescue team base, and recruited the help of three unruly manky that like peeled chestnuts. And now they refuse to work until they get more peeled chestnuts, so... Yeah, that kinda sucks. But hey, we got mail. That's always a plus. Um, I'm gonna guess it's this one? Mm, nope, but uh... <laughs> Alright. He met with Ninetales on Mount Freeze. Ninetales testified that Brandon was not the human that appeared in the legend. As a result, Gengar's claims were found to be malicious lies. The clearly dismayed Gengar's quote, Alright. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything else here. So, I guess we'll see if we can find any jobs that give uh, chestnuts as a reward. But also, I think we can just find them in the dungeon we explored last episode. Right, my inventory's full. Let's go, uh, let's fix that. Store. What would I like to store? Lots of things. Um, probably don't need the... Don't need a pet, uh, two petrify orbs. Um, or this many blast seeds. And one heal seed is probably enough. Okay, now let's see what we can buy. I don't think we found much money, so we probably won't be able to afford anything expensive. But I would like to grab the rocks. And I would also like those iron thorns. Because iron thorns means we don't need to use Graveler rocks as often. Which is a good thing. Alright, what do you have? You have a warp orb. Yeah, we'll buy that. Okay. The rest of our money can just go into the bank. I wish to store all of it. Alright, any jobs that are convenient? Let's see, max elixir, money. Uh, this one's graveler rocks at least. Gold gummy, and weather band. Okay, none of those are particularly good. And I don't think these are going to have them either, but might as well check. Yeah, they at least give uh, money, but we kind of want to just progress the story right now, I think. Oh, almost forgot to grab Absol. Hi, Absol. And it's back to laughing. Okay. Whatever you say, Absol. So I guess we'll just go to Uproar Forest and try and find some, uh, whatever it is we're looking for. Chestnut. Chest... yeah, chestnuts. I mean, if I have to go to a location, it would probably be this one because we get lots of grass gummies. <sighs> Trico, come on. Oh, come on. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to uh, put these items on the ground just to stack them. Alright, so that should stack the items. And that's already set, so that's convenient. Alright, let's explore. We need chestnuts. Earthquake! That was not nearly as threatening as I thought it was. Also, I just realized I still have uh, Quick Attack turned off and Absorb. So we can turn those back on so that people can actually help me fight. 
critical hit, okay. And this is a dead end. Hello, sir. You are in the way. Well, not really, but you're worth experience points. Alright, anything up here? Um, yeah, it's just a dead end. I don't think you can find items in hallways ever, so not much point in exploring that way. If it's just a dead end. That means the stairs are going to be this way. I'm just going to keep using water gun because I don't really have a reason not to. Something in the top corner there though. Oh, it's just an apple. Oh well. It might be useful because we're going to want to do a lot of exploring here. That tends to drain hunger. I think Trico can handle that guy. Come on, Trico. Thank you. Oops. I'm confusing my team a lot when I walk on water. Alright, anything here? Just another C dot? Okay. We'll use Tackle Facade. I seem to get a lot of critical hits. I think that's just a quirk with the game. Alright. Anything? We need rooms. Well, this room is empty, so that's not helpful. A uh, good quick attack, I guess? Hmm. The C dot have more health than I would expect, though, so I guess they're not completely harmless. They can fight back a bit. Wow, that did no damage. Let's try Tackle Facade. Hmm. Beninat is surprisingly bulky. Well, we got another gummy. So that's good. Be smart. Nice. That's a dead end. And this is probably also a dead end, actually. Maybe. A very complicated dead end. Yep. Alright, well, screw you guys. I'm just gonna take a shortcut to the stairs. Um, well, I somehow don't think we're just gonna let this guy sleep, so mud slap. I missed. Let's try mud slap again. Leer bite fail. Okay. Trico. Trico, help. Trico. Trico, please. Can we not be confused? Okay, there we go. Um. Oh, we found a seed. Yay, blast seed. I guess we're just stocking up on these. They could be useful toward the end of the game, actually. Um, wow, this is a very empty floor. I'm pretty sure that to the uh, right is a dead end, but I guess I'll check it anyway. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. Three hit points and one everything else. Okay. Yep, dead end. I'm starting to feel like my stats aren't growing as much as they should. But, I mean, I've got items, so I just got two crits in a row. Hmm. Alright. And now I'm confused. <laughs> I get super lucky when I just regular attack while confused. Uh, let's see, Trico is out of quick attack, so that sucks. Oh good, another enemy to fight. Get out of the way! I just want to find chestnuts. Ok, 
Okay, there are so many of these guys. I'm just gonna let him do his thing. Just in case. Yeah. Alright, we should be good now. I missed. There we go. Don't think there are any more rooms in this dungeon. Yeah, that just loops back on itself. And then that also loops back on itself, so... Not having much luck so far. What have we got here? A Roselia. Okay. Don't poison me. Thank you. And then another Roselia. I don't think I saw any Roselia last time. Okay, Absol leveled up. Two, one, two, one, one. Alright, I'll take it. I mean, making your best character stronger is always a good thing. Oh, hello. Don't hurt me. Okay, that's kind of scary, actually. Don't poison me. Thank you. Absol got lost, so... There we go. Uh, let's go down here, I guess. There's an item. It's a Petra Berry. Is there a room over here? Yep. Oh, great. Why would you use Absorb in that situation? Alright, well, I'm still confused. Let's go. This way. I don't care about the Petra Berry. So you've got stairs. And... Lots of hallways. I should stop walking on water, it's draining my hunger. Another Roselia. Well, at least we got money, I guess. A lot of money, nice. But, uh, we need chestnuts. And we're not finding those. We are finding a lot of enemies. I guess mud slap. Because I've got a lot of mud slap. It'd be nice if Trico had a move that cuts corners. But, oh well. Tackle facade. Get out of here. Chestnuts? Nope. Just a Pecha Berry. Anything? That is definitely a dead end. Okay, lots of enemies. Getting dizzy from hunger. So I guess I'll use one of my apples. Or my one apple. Yeah, you should be able to handle that. Yep. Oh, good. Grass gummy. Whoops. Be smart. Actually, I should hold on to that in case I run out of food. Because gummies do restore your hunger by 30 points, I think. And I got poisoned. Do we have... Yeah, I should have picked up the... Uh, uh, the Pecha Berries. Oh, well. So I'll eat that because it'll fill my... <coughs> It'll fill my hunger a bit. And then we can give this one to Trico. Let's just try and find the stairs. Before I die of poison. There, I found the stairs. Come on, you can do it, Trico. Good job. Alright. I would search for chestnuts, but I was poisoned, so... We're just going to move on and fight this guy. Got Leer Pound and Quick Attack. I love linked moves. Such a fun idea. It's a little bit broken, but it's fun. It's broken in a fun way. Alright, anything this way? Ooh, an apple. That's good. 
I actually kind of needed that. That's a dead end. Up here we have a Roselia. And... Oh, maybe that wasn't a dead end. Just loops. Nope. There's two dead ends. That's... Fancy, I guess. Ah, oh, great, it's using Bide. Alright, I'll tackle Facade you. And let's, uh, let's fight this one just for, whoop, that was the, I forgot you could do that, huh. Or, oh, that, no, was, was that the black screen or was that something different? I think that was something different. Okay, this Roselia is causing problems. That was probably the black screen, and I just didn't notice because it had the fog effect over it. <laughs> Critical hit. Well, let's do it again. Mud slap. <laughs> yep, got another crit. I think the AI, or the, not the AI, the uh, RNG might be bugged in this game. Right, get him. Get the C dot. Mud slap. How much health does C dot have? Hmm. Alright, up here. Well, there's money. That always helps. And there's another C dot. Spawn rates are really high in this dungeon. Get out of my way. Your earthquake is not intimidating. Get out of the way. I just want to reach the stairs now. Uh, let's see, there's another enemy. It is, of course, another C dot. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, uh, it seems Absol is tired of C dot also. So that's nice. But I am. Man, I'm having no luck in this dungeon. We just need a chestnut somewhere. That looks like a dead end. And this is... That's also a dead end. Well, now I can't even find the stairs. But at least we've got gummies. Gummies are good. There you go, Trico. Uh, trap avoider. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think it makes him avoid uh, wonder tiles, but he's usually he usually doesn't have uh, stat changes anyway. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. Switch. Like eventually, they made trap avoider just part of the AI, even without IQ skills. But in this game, you need the IQ skill for it. And even then, I don't think it's reliable. Oh well. Eat this gummy. At least Trico gets to get really smart. Oh, hey, look. A lot of enemies, actually. Water gun! Okay, that was kind of overkill. Water gun again. So many enemies. And a lot of C dot. But Trico leveled up, so that's nice. Three hit points and one of or no, he got two special defense. Okay. Not sure why. Some money. Got another enemy here. The C dot are honestly getting pretty annoying. Right. Okay, that's probably a good sign. I'm out of water gun. Could 
Could you drop a chestnut? A nut? A chestnut? Nope. But we can find money. Uh, that's just a room with a wonder tile. And this is a room with a mankey. Man, just nothing. Okay. Floor nine. Okay. Well, luckily, we're next to the stairs, and most of the enemies here are weak. So, uh... Oh, there's a TM over there! Huh. I mean, I do have a Petrify Orb. So, I think what I'm gonna do... is set my team's AI to run away for now, so that they don't attack enemies. And then... I will use... the Petrify Orb... to freeze all of these guys. And now we're free to run around wreaking havoc. I'm gonna have to use a max elixir. Uh, oh, a trowel orb. That's cool. No! Oh no! This is a disaster! <coughs> I forgot about Earthquake. Hmm. Okay. Well, as long as everyone keeps running away, we should be fine, because we can run to the corridor. So, keep going- GUYS! That's not how you run away! Are you that stupid?! Alright, well I guess I'll just set their AI to fight stuff then. Because these enemies aren't particularly strong. Man, this... the AI in this game is seriously some of the worst I've ever seen sometimes. Wait, did I set you to... Okay, I did. And I need to use... Uh, I think we just need to get some damage right now, actually, so I'll use a Blast Seed. Tree Cookie, you finish that off? Thank you. Alright, Earthquake is actually helpful because it damages all the other enemies. Assuming it can hit any of them. Alright, nice. Took out the Mankey. Another Earthquake. See, I think I should probably heal this turn. Because my health is at half, and if too many Earthquakes hit, that could cause problems. So, I'll use an Ornberry. So that should KO that one, because that's the one I attacked earlier. Another earthquake. Let's see, I should check uh, Trico's health, because there have been a lot of earthquakes. I'm surprised this is the first monster house we've had, actually. Yeah, Trico's health is kind of low, so he gets an orange berry. Why do you dodge these things? Okay, whatever, that's why. Never mind, you're smart. Good job. Oh, a Nuzleaf. I... Okay, that's a little more scary. But I don't think it'll use Earthquake, at least. 
Anyway, I need to use a Max Elixir. Most of these CDOT have weakened each other using Earthquake, so this is actually fine. Use Tackle Facade. Yeah. So, this is probably the least intimidating monster house I've ever seen. Just a bunch of Pokemon that can barely damage you and kill each other. I never thought a mud or I never thought a monster house full of earthquake users could be non-threatening, but somehow the game found a way. So I kind of wasted my petrify orb. Alright. And that just leaves the C dot, which is probably like out of health by now. Yep. Now we can pick up these items. Money, money, and frustration. So basically money because I don't think I'm ever going to use it. Um, oh my, that's right, I have space in my inventory for things. Well, I guess since we survived that we can go search for chestnuts again. Oh, Manky picked up a chestnut, perfect. Just had to find a floor with a monster house. Alright, Manky, I'm here for the chestnut. It will be mine. Um, okay, my team is trying to use moves that they can't, so I'll turn that off. Yes! Now, uh, something kind of tricky about the game. That's not exactly fair. Um, the Mankeys say they want a peeled chestnut, and if you go to the, your menu, you'll see that you can actually peel the chestnut that you just picked up. The problem is, it doesn't peel the chestnut, it uses the chestnut. So, if I remember correctly, you take a bit of damage and then uh, it becomes a healing item or something like that. I don't remember exactly how it works, but it, uh, it gets consumed and that makes farming these things take even longer. Actually, let's see if I can check its item description. Yeah. Info. A food item that somewhat fills the... Okay, so it doesn't heal you, it uh, restores hunger. But still, that is, like, deceiving, and it sucks. Don't do that. Oh no, another really weak earthquake. What will we do? Maybe use Tackle Facade. Alright. We got one chestnut. I think we need to get a second one, though. If I remember correctly, you need two. But that was the last floor, so... Well, we found one. So it wasn't a total waste. And I got to show a monster house. Didn't we do good today? Yeah, we found a chestnut. And I get my rock back. Alright. Well, next time on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, we will give Mankey a chestnut. And that's about it. See you guys then.